Let's solve the system by substitution. Substitution means that I'm going to take one of the variables, one of the equations, and plug it in. Solve it for one and plug it in for the other. So it doesn't matter which one you do. In fact, for this, it doesn't really matter because all you're going to be doing is setting them equal to each other. So I'm plugging one-third x minus three in for y in the first equation. And that gives me, instead of two equations with two variables, it gives me one equation with only one variable, namely x. Now the trick for this one is to clear your fraction. It makes your problem so much easier to deal with if you get rid of all your fractions. So the way I do that is I multiply the entire equations, the equation meaning both sides, by 3 and 7. I could have said 21, but I'm going to say 3 and 7 and you'll see why. Remember I've got to distribute that into every term. So it goes there, it goes there, it goes there, and it goes there. So let's just write the 3 and 7 up top here. 3, 7, 3, 7. Remember you're multiplying 3 and 7 by all the numerators, but before you multiply by 3 times 7, we're going to cancel what can be canceled. A 3 will cancel there, and we're just left with 7x. 3 times 7 times 3 is 21 times 3, which is 63. The 7's cancel here, and you're just left with 5 times 3 and x, so 15x. And the 7's cancel here, and you're just left with 3 times 3, which is 9 much easier problem to solve now that you don't have any fractions to deal with. Now to solve this we isolate the variable which means I'm going to put the x's, let's go ahead and move the x's to the left side so I'm sorry that's a bad idea let's keep it positive, let's keep the x's positive so let's move the x's to the right side so 15, <coughs> excuse me, 15 x minus 7 x is 8 x and then let's move the 9 over to the left side negative 63 minus 9 is negative 72 now divide both sides by 8 and you get negative 9 that's your x value that's only half of your solution now we've got to find our y value by plugging this in to either place doesn't matter which one in fact we're going to plug it in both just to check and so let's do that y equals 1 third times negative 9 minus 3 Remember, let's cancel. The 3's cancel because 9, there's a 3 in common. So it's equal to negative 3 minus 3, which is negative 6. So y is negative 6. So here's our solution. Negative 3, negative 6. Let's make sure that's right by plugging in negative 3 and negative 6 and checking it in the other equation. This one isn't going to cancel out, so it's just going to be equal to negative 15 over 7 plus 3 over 7. Negative 15 plus 3 is negative 12 over 7, which is not equal to negative 6. And I see what I did wrong here. I plugged in negative 3. I should have plugged in negative 9 because that's what x is. So let's do that again. Negative 9 times 5 is negative 45. Negative 45 plus 3 is negative 42. Negative 42 sevenths is equal to negative 6. And that checks out because negative, that's what it should have been. So this is, in fact, the correct answer, and I'm done.